got an exciting day today. Finally made enough time to break down the shop bike. And it's getting worse and worse the more I ride it. There's just too many little things to keep adding up that need to get fixed. Um, I'll go over a couple of them real quick, but plan for this bike, new fender, fender's cracked, new sissy bar, new seat, um, new gas tank, cause that's cracked, bars, new springer, I'll build a new springer for it, and then uh, keep the pipes probably, new rear brake, um, just pretty much a whole go through. I'm gonna go through the motor while it's out, show you a couple of things that really bother me. On the last trip in Oregon, I ended up snapping this front leg off the springer and got an automotive shop to repair it. So, not happy about that weld. It's been holding now, but it's just a matter of time. I also cracked a big hole in the gas tank up here that that same shop almost also welded. There's still bubble gum up there. Kickstand has a real nice mount to it. There's just a bunch of little little things here. The fender mounts are terrible. Then the rear brake, I've never liked how this is mounted. I'm gonna end up doing a bigger rotor with a nice PM uh, caliber on here so I get something, something nice to ride with. But it's on a push here, you can see. And usually, they're supposed to be on a pull. So it's pulling on the frame instead of ramming all the power back into it. Um, might even go back to pan heads on this bike too. Not super sure yet, but uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna drain the oil, fully disassemble. I'm gonna get the frame out to uh, sandblasting and then we'll get a better idea of what, we, what we're working with here. But yeah, that's the starting point for today. We're about at the uh, halfway point, so I figured I'd stop and do a quick check-in. Uh, rear end's pretty much off, trans is loose. It's not out yet, but uh, this frame actually has a pretty good angle to it already. I think what was throwing me off was right here. It almost runs perfect already, but right here there's so much Bondo, it was chunking it up, and I don't know what they did here. You can see there's steel insert welded maybe into the down tube. Um, I don't know, but uh, this motor's getting rebuilt, um, so I'm gonna chip the Bondo off and not worry about it landing in the oil pump line or whatever. It's all getting clean and chromed and just freshened up. Um, but I'm gonna heat up some of this Bondo and I'm gonna uh, scrape it off and kind of see what we've got under here. The other spots I'm worried about are in the neck. There were a lot of stress cracks on the other side, and it's just, I just wanted to look at it and see what's going on. But, yeah, we'll uh, heat it up, pull some Bondo, and see what we got under it. We'll check back in. I've been chipping away at this Bondo for about an hour here. 
and uh, surprisingly it's pretty nice under it. Usually the frames I get with the Bondo are all torn up, but this one's still got the original uh, plate right there. And then uh, this is how it looked, so keep this in mind. It was all squared off, squared here, floated in here, super chunky. Now over on this side, got it opened up a little bit. And they kept everything pretty nice and they did a good job on it. Most of these are just ruined when I get them. They're nasty cut and splices and it's just really bad jobs. But this is actually a nice job, whoever did it knew it was up. Um, so I'm gonna leave it. I think it looks way better like that. And I'm not gonna touch the frame. I'm gonna just clean everything up and then uh, I'll do the rest of the stuff I talked about, but uh, I'm not gonna do the framework. Looks pretty nice. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna get the rest of the bike torn up now that I know what it looks like and uh, yeah, have this thing disassembled in about another 30 minutes or so. battery died on the camera but here's where we're at back down the frame I'm pretty curious to see how this is gonna look after uh, sandblasting it but just parts uh, everywhere now have some major cleanup to do after this so uh, here's where we're at I'm gonna check the degree on it I think it's over 45 on this but rode good and handled well I'll, I'll stick with it. I'm gonna crack the rest of the Bondo out of the other side of the neck. I always try to remove as much as I can before uh, sandblasting because if not they end up just sitting there and you know taking a bunch of material off that didn't need to come off. So I get it as close as I can so they can do a quick uh, quick spray. But yeah work on the other side of this neck and then uh, it's off and we'll see it when it gets back. Just got the frame back from uh, sandblasting. Pretty excited just to see what we got under here. So you can kind of see the neck now. It's a pretty nice job when they raked it. Uh, looks like a one inch rake. When they did them uh, back in the 70s and 80s, they didn't use a degree meter a lot of the time, so they do it off an inch. It's either like a half inch rake or a one inch rake or an inch and a quarter rake. And that's kind of just what they did. But um, Things I don't like about the frame so far is they ground down a lot of the, the casting on the neck. So I might end up swapping it to a different neck. Um, they did the same down here on the sidecar loops. But all in all, it's a super nice frame. Or it's not super nice, but it's, it's a nice chopper frame. There's one more little crack back here on the trans plate. but not as bad as I was expecting. The only other spot, there's one repair up in here. You can see where this cracked. Um, and what they did is they slugged the hole down tube with a piece of solid stock steel and welded it in. So I'm gonna have a heck of a time uh, taking that out if I want to. 
or I can just, I mean, it's already slugged, so I could just clean all this up and make it real nice. Um, yeah, that's a look at pretty much what the frame was. I had no idea what we were gonna get under that Bondo. Um, I'll end up coming back here, probably cut the rear legs now, since uh, I don't, I'm not super fond of the neck casting up here. So I'm gonna probably chop it up. Um, cut the rear legs here, pull the whole backbone up, maybe two inches, something like that. And then you can see something happen along the way where usually this back tube's still pretty straight. This one's got a full kink in here and then it's got a bow in it here too. So yeah, I'll probably end up getting uh, some sort of replacement neck for it. And then new sidecar loops, maybe make it a straight leg. Maybe even a single down tube, I'm not sure yet. But uh, I'll probably do this video in three parts, maybe four parts. Uh, so this is gonna be part one, uh, disassembling. Part two will be all the framework and uh, reassembling. And then uh, I guess maybe we'll just do a part three when it gets back from paint. But that's what we're working with for now. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's next when it gets on the jig.